Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel, Baddison Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of July 2023. I'm going to see who's heading towards you over the next seven days with romantic intentions. I'll find out how they currently feel about you. I'll take a look at their behavior and actions towards you this week. And the behavior portion is what I'm going to dive into deeper because if they're not treating you right, if I see some freaking red flags, um, that's going to allow me to see what type of advice to give you going forward. I'll I'll also take a look at what's in your blind spot, which could be things negatively um, impacting your connection with someone that you may not be aware of that's happening just yet. Whether you're doing something to hurt the relationship unbeknownst to you or your person is hurting it or something external is pulling you guys away from each other. If that's the case, I'll do my best to find out in today's reading. I do get pretty nosy. I just opened up the tarot deck to the tower and the death card. Heavy Scorpio energy, heavy Pluto and Mars influence. You see, I do feel like for some of you Torians, someone's getting a shattered reality of a situation and maybe using this information to lay something to rest this week. Someone is getting ready to put something in that urn and make peace with it and let it let it die, let it run its course. You may be completing a karmic cycle with somebody. If you do not resonate with that, don't even attach yourself to that. Let's see what your spread shows me. Three of Swords wanted to hop out. Someone here may be feeling heartbroken, maybe feeling unsupported, unloved. Two more shuffles for Taurus. One, two. Let's rock this in deck for my terrific Taurians. Okay, so the person coming towards you this week with romantic intentions, how do they feel about you? We have Judgment, major for Scorpio. That's the third card that had Scorpio influence. I feel like this week is one of those, are we or are we not? gonna be together type of moments. Because the judgment card to me is the energy of shit or get off the pot. You either want somebody or you don't. You either feel something for someone or you don't. You either want a commitment or you don't. No more dragging your feet or uh, you know wasting anyone's time. Okay, so I definitely feel like this week, Spirit's really wanting your person to make a decision and stick to it. Because you may be dealing with someone that, you know, is someone that avoids making decisions. And this is also my forgiveness card. So your person may be also feeling the need to ask you for your forgiveness. Maybe they pointed a finger at you in some regard or uh, made false accusations towards you. Just really pointed the finger at you and spirits like, uh-uh, you point it back at yourself. Take it off of Taurus. All right, because we can only judge ourselves, right? So yeah, a lot of Pluto influence here. All endings lead to new beginnings. Something is triggering a, a ending for a new new way of doing things, you know? It's, it's the energy of releasing what is an anchor to someone's happiness. Let's see what's going on here. What's their true intentions with you this week, Taurus? The Wheel of Fortune. Now, with the Wheel of Fortune being their intentions, it's definitely telling me that this person's leaving this relationship up to fate and chance. This is someone that feels like they're losing control over the situation with you. It's the energy of Jesus, take the wheel because I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know which direction you're asking me to go in regards to Taurus. Can you just steer the wheel, please? I will just fall a line. You know, because this person is taking a road that's leading to some sort of destination, whether it's to your house or to somewhere else. And they're being met with roadblocks. They're being met with a U-turn sign. So if this person went MIA recently or you guys had an argument and they decided to just go ghost and go quiet, they're being redirected back to where you're at to finish what they started. Otherwise, this is going to be karma that's going to be carried over into another lifetime because the Wheel of Fortune is all about karma. This could be telling me that you have had a past life with this person, that you are needing to clear this lifetime, and if this person is not doing their part to fulfill this soul contract agreement, you're gonna have to go through it again, and it's gonna return, repeat, rinse, and repeat, you know? The Wheel of Fortune is also my Universal Drano card. You know, if something is staying stuck, 
staying blocked, spirit will come in with their universal Drano to get things moving again because we are made up of what, 65 to 75% water? Water is supposed to always be in flow, always supposed to be fi finding their level. And if someone's keeping the connection stuck and not in its flow, it's gonna get all gunky like a clogged up sink, right? So the universal Drano comes in and clears any blockages to keep people moving again. So it definitely feels like this person is having a shattered reality this week in regards to how they feel about you, what they want with you, and they're being triggered into making some serious decisions and to, you know, you know, shut up and, you know, do what they need to do. And this is Scorpio energy as well. The Wheel of Fortune is Scorpio, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius energy. So I do feel like something has been going through the change of seasons with you and this person. So it is telling me that for some of you, you have been at least connecting with this person for at least a couple seasons now, if not a full year or more, and something is doing a complete circle, okay? Wow, I'm starting to get anxiety all of a sudden. It's like, um, with this person looking like they're losing control over the steering wheel, this person may be, um, going through something with this full moon in uh, Capricorn with the sun in Cancer. A lot of people are in their feelings around this time, feeling like they're being redirected. Some of you guys could have met each other in 2010, as I see the number 20 there and I see the number 10, okay? All right, so what's this person's behavior with Taurus going forward into the week ahead? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You may have someone here during the week of uh, July that's going to try and get your attention. This is someone that wants the spotlight on them so they can say something that they want to say. Remember how I said earlier that this person may be wanting to get your forgiveness for something? You may be giving them the platform to speak with that microphone to say what they need to say so that way you can make a decision going forward. I'm strongly getting that this person is very confident. They are someone very attractive and they're very attracted to you, but they may have gotten too confident with the relationship and may have started to not support the relationship the way that you needed, may have dropped the ball, got a little bit too comfy, a little bit too complacent, thinking you would always be there to give them attention, and they're getting hit with a sudden realization to something this week in regards to you. You may have pulled back your energy. You may have decided, you know what, I can't do this right now, and now this person's like, wait, 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 Taurus. Wait a minute. Chill. All right, and since this is Leo energy, Leo season begins on July 22nd, and this has Leo energy as well. I'm wondering if during this week, while we're in cancer season, this person's going through this sudden realization to something about the two of you and your relationship, and then at the start of Leo season, that's when you will get like clarity on what this person wants with you. Um, we'll see. What is your feelings for this person? Or rewind, my grammar sucks today. What are your feelings for this person, Taurus? The Ten of Swords, you're feeling hurt, you're feeling betrayed, you're feeling backstabbed, you're feeling like you gave so much to the situation and you feel like you're not getting anything out of it, except you are getting something out of it, Taurus. This is where alchemy comes in as your best friend, where you can transmute this negative experience and turn it into a positive gain for you. You see how you're getting a full sleeve tattoo? And if I'm talking too fast, slow down the settings. I'm a Bostonian, we talk fast. Um, if you look at this card, you're getting a full sleeve tattoo and you're at the end of it. You're at the worst it's gonna get. The tattoo is almost finished and now you'll have the reward of looking at that beautiful art on your arm for the rest of your life. So they're telling me that this is not a waste. You're gonna gain something valuable out, out of this experience. Whether you guys have a future together or not, you're gonna gain something valuable if you focus on the little golden nuggets that are sprinkled into every relationship you have, whether friendship, platonic, career, romantic. There's always a learning experience. And with you being a Taurus, you're all about learning life lessons. You are the Hierophant card. So they're, they're telling me that something is at the worst it's gonna get, and this person's sudden realization is going to trigger your, um, uh, your thought process to make a final decision, to just let this go or to breathe life back into it again and take what you learned from this experience and apply it to you guys' relationship down the road so you guys don't deal with this underlying issue again. All right, but some of you may feel like this connection is dead and buried, and this person's trying to resurrect the connection with the judgment card because the judgment card is also about resurrection bringing something back from the dead 
you know? Some of you guys may have been broken up since Easter, if you celebrate, of course. Um, but for others, I feel like you're feeling pulled to just put a nail in the coffin on this relationship. And that could be the sudden realization that your person feels this week where they may have thought you were wanting them forever. And now they're being hit with the fact that you're not happy about something. And now they're going to be like, whoa, wait a minute. Taurus is, Taurus is going to break up with me? Oh, wait. What do I do here? What do I do here, spirit? Which way do I go? Do I keep it moving or do I go back to Taurus? You guys may have had a recent argument. I got this for a Leo and Virgo um, for their July monthly. Actually, it was in this position and it was triggered by a conversation that started off nice and went self. Like you may be dealing with someone that you know, gets triggered with their fight or flight response where if you approach them with a conversation that's a bit uncomfortable, their their best defense is to either, you know, take off slamming the doors and getting in their car and hopping onto the highway, never drive when you're angry, or, you know, they're quick to hit the block button or hang up their phone and just, you know, stew in anger without resolving conflict head on and you're sick of dealing with that you want someone that's going to have an open conversation with you so you guys can discuss your problems with each other what is hurting this relationship the ace of wands someone's not keeping that fire lit the ace of wands is the energy of two people having that spark with each other and the king of wands has that ace of wands Two people having that spark, having that sexual desire for each other, that strong chemistry, that creative energy of really having a nice bond with someone and what you can do with it is whatever you wanna do with it. But when it's in the blockage, it's telling me that someone's not keeping that fire lit. Just like with a fire pit, you have to keep on throwing, you know, I don't know anything about fire pits, but I always see people either adding fuel to the fire to keep it blazing or pumping through air. I probably just made myself sound stupid. I've never been a Boy Scout. Um, but if you don't do anything with that lit flame, it's gonna be a waste. What you wanna do with it is use it for something that could benefit you both, whether it's lighting up a candle, whether it's lighting up a fire pit, whether it's lighting up a stove pilot so you can cook dinner. If you just let it just burn and just waste and then burn your thumb, that's a wasted opportunity. So someone started something off very passionate with you, Taurus, and you them, but didn't sustain that fire. Thought it was always going to burn, burn, burn on its own without having to do anything to keep that fire alive. And that's BS, you know? Someone hands you a paintbrush and some paint, you're just going to sit there? No, you're going to take that and paint with it to make it come to life. So someone didn't, didn't do their part here is what it feels like. Someone didn't do their part. What's the future outcome for Taurus and this person over the next seven days? Now remember, this is just a weekly. So if you don't get the answer that you're wanting for the outcome, it's just for the next seven days. It could change next week. The Three of Wands. Now the Three of Wands as the outcome is telling me that someone's anticipating someone's arrival. Whether someone lives at a distance and they're making plans to see you or you them, or there's just this energy of still anticipating a beautiful relationship out of this once there's like some sort of conversation that takes place where someone is accountable for something that they were doing. And remember, this could be roles reversed for the cross watcher watching, okay? But the outcome with the three wands is a really beautiful energy. And remember how I said at the end of the month at Leo season, something may happen? Look at this card, Taurus. Once my camera zooms in on it. Hold on. Look at this calendar. Do you see where that circle is, where X marks a spot? It's circled at the end of the month, end of July. End of July, you may end up having a very important conversation with this person that will allow you to know whether this is gonna go somewhere or if it's meant to just go down the drain. What's your advice with this person, Taurus? Five of Wands, fight for this or fight for your own happiness and move on. All right, it's one or the other. You either, you want this person and they want you or if this person is driving you batshit crazy where you feel more stressed out than happy, then you've got a big decision to make because fives are all about conflict and chaos and challenges. But sometimes in chaos and in conflict, we learn a lot about ourselves and we grow and it allows us to be come stronger with our people. So if this is someone that you see as worth it and they see you as worth it, I feel like you guys can overcome this obstacle, but two people really need to judge themselves very carefully and not be so quick to point the finger at the other. 
we all play our own part in why situations work out the way that they do. What's the overall energy for the two of you? Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus energy. With the overall energy being the Six of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles is all about equal partnerships. I give to you, you give to me. Sometimes they can turn one-sided if one person's giving all the work and effort and love while the other person just takes, 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 takes. You know, it's, it's, it, it shows me an image of a charity um, uh, someone at a soup kitchen or like one of those places where they give out food to the homeless. You know, it's it's nice to be very ch charitable and giving, but when you're in a romantic relationship that's supposed to be a partnership, it can't be one person being the generous one while the other person comes in with their fork and doesn't have to do anything else. You know, Ace of Swords tells me that there is gonna be a breakthrough between the two of you where you're gonna gain the insight and clarity that you need to see whether this person is worth overcoming obstacles with this person or to just move on in your own merry way. Because I do see some mountains up in the far distance which do signify obstacles up ahead for you and this person, um, whether it's the current obstacle or another one up up ahead you know you guys really got to ask yourself do you guys love each other enough to do this and then there's the lovers some of you guys met during Gemini season um, in June and now already in July you're like are we already having our first fight is it I mean really it feels like that so I'm gonna clarify this and see what's going on um, I am getting distance for somebody here as I'm seeing someone in a vehicle trying to travel to somebody and the three of wands is my long-distance relationship card All right, sorry for the drink. If I don't continue drinking throughout the reading, I'm gonna end up sounding like Marge Simpson after a pack of smokes. My voice gets really scratchy. All right, so let's do this. So in your person's feelings this week, Taurus, we have the judgment card. Let's find out what's going on. I mean, that, that image shows me there's three sides to every situation. Your side, their side, and spirit side. Why judgment? Why judgment, please, why judgment? Why judgment? Three of Cups. Now the Three of Cups is my reunion card. It's my friendship card. It's I really enjoy being around you card, but it's also the energy of feeling like someone's friend zoning somebody or keeping someone in a like situationship. The Three of Cups is the energy of make a decision, you know, and stick to it. But that's cancer energy. So I feel like this is strongly happening during cancer season. Eight of Wands. I do feel like there's communication coming in for you from them um, with that Eight of Wands. Possibly after you may have had to walk away Eight of Cups and let this connection run its course because you felt like this person was betraying your trust, betraying you, or just not giving you what you deserve and it started to hurt your feelings, started to really weigh on you mentally, okay? And that could be what that shattered reality is with the judgment card. Maybe you, like, not fighting for the connection right now is going to show this person that, you know, they could potentially lose you and they're being faced with an opportunity to make a decision. Okay? But the Eight of Wands is communication. It's uh, going through some sort of plan. So let me clarify your feelings. Why the Ten of Swords? Is it focusing? Okay. Ten of Swords is Gemini energy. I'm strongly getting Gemini influence. So this could be a Gemini that you're connecting to, Taurus, or you've got Gemini in your placement, in one of your placements, or this started happening in Gemini season. Speaking of which, the lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, some of you guys met in Gemini season and it's playing out in this month, or you're connecting with a Gemini, or Gemini is ruled by planet Mercury, and Mercury is the planet that controls, you know, mind and mouth. You know, your thoughts turn into words. So someone here may have not been communicating what they're thinking, weren't communicating at all, or was just not making a, a very important choice because the lover's card back in the day when tarot was first created, it was actually called the choice. It wasn't called the lovers. It's the energy of making a choice that's in alignment with your heart. And if, if two people are in alignment with each other where they can create harmony and a balanced relationship, make a choice to be with that person. But if your heart is telling you that this person is not choosing to respect your needs and what you want, then you need to make a choice that's good for yourself, even if it means cutting them off for good and making peace with it you know, and finding someone else that's gonna love you the way that you deserve. 
all right because with the nine of pentacles being here it's telling me that you are currently single you're not in an exclusive relationship with this person nine of pentacles so let's clarify this person's intentions we got the wheel of fortune now the the wheel of fortune is like changing of seasons it's something going all the way around again like someone's someone's getting a chance to do something differently and hope for different results but if someone does the same thing over and over again expecting different results that's the definition of insanity why the wheel of fortune as this person's intentions with taurus this week the queen of cups cancer energy so this person intends to be emotional towards you, to speak from their heart chakra, to, 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 to possibly be more nurturing after they had a reality check. You know, something is like hitting this person with a reality check. Again, cross watchers, this could be you and this is flipped for your person, okay? But that's Cancer energy and that's Leo. So it's like from Cancer season transitioning into Leo season, there's gonna be something that's that's shifting for the two of you. And then there's the Page of Cups. And then there's the Empress, Eight of Pentacles. The Empress is Taurus energy. That's all about nurturing, giving life to something that has a potential for growth, you know? So in the blockage for what's hurting this connection, Taurus, is the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Tell me about the Ace of Wands, please. The Wheel of Friggin' Fortune. And I got the Death card, and I got the hair font. Look at that. Look at that. It all It's all connecting. What's hurting this relationship is two people have a lot of sexual attraction, a lot of chemistry with each other, a potential to turn that, that fiery wand into magic, right? However, someone's not either giving someone the commitment that they deserve, that they deserve with the hair font Taurus energy, or someone's going through a major karmic lesson because the hair font is also a teacher. Um, but I am getting that you guys are playing out a past life karma because if you look at this card of the death card in this tarot deck, it shows a dying cat and nine ghost kitties coming out of that dying cat's body, which could tell me that you and this person have had many lifetimes with each other where you're still not getting this lesson correct because someone keeps on avoiding it altogether, you know, just always just like taking off running with like an avoidant attachment behavior. So you may be dealing with someone that has avoidant attachment behavior and you might be getting anxiety attachment behavior because of this. So you guys are triggering each other. Someone may ride a motorcycle. But what's hurting this connection is someone here may be starting and stopping their relationship. You know, it starts and then someone lets it die. It starts and then someone lets it die. And someone is like, can we breathe life back in it? Can we res you know, resurrect this connection from the dead? Because someone's acknowledging that something flatlined because someone wasn't like, you know, pumping air or, you know, keeping the heart beating or whatever the case may be. And with that wheel of fortune coming out two times, you know, something is changing and it's out of someone's control. I feel like the universe is stepping in to intervene because someone's not doing what they need to do so that this doesn't have to keep on being a repeated life lesson. So in this person's behavior towards you, Taurus, is the King of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. I feel like you got the King of Wands recently from my All Signs reading I did the other day. I could have swore you had the King of Wands. I could be mixing you up with someone else though. Why the King of Wands? Temperance, major for Sagittarius. Now, temperance is all about compromising with somebody, working together, blending ideas together, figuring out a way that you both feel like your needs are being met without having to overdo something. Like if someone's very busy with work, uh, it's the energy of fitting someone into their schedule while also understanding that someone's got a heavy workload and they can't like drop everything. It's, it's compromising. But this is also my reconciliation card and you got two of my reconciliation cards. No, wait, three in the reading. The only one I'm missing right now is the Six of Cups. Yep. So now when I say reconciliation, I don't mean that you guys were in a relationship and broke up. What it feels like is something started and something started to flatline and someone has a chance to reconcile communication, reconcile the passion, reconcile the love that you guys share, reconcile, you know, bring in stability back into the relationship, okay? 
But the Nine of Wands is here, which is telling me that someone feels like they're the last man standing, the last person that gives a shit about this relationship, and it is over it. So in the potential outcome is the Three of Wands, Taurus. Let's find out. I'm strongly getting end of July for somebody, something happening. But it feels good. It's like someone's anticipating what they want, whether it's with someone else or with this person. Why the Three of Wands? The Four of Swords and the devil. All right, for some of you Torians, you're gonna cut off this person and go no contact with that four of swords. This is my taking a break card. That might um, tell the universe that you're choosing self-love before this person and that they might send you a brand new person with that three of wands. But if that's not the case, I feel like um, you making a choice that better serves your your needs and what will allow you to start uh, becoming more, re, you know, relaxed in your energy is going to bring you what you want. Okay, your ships are coming in in whichever way that means for you, but they're wanting you to recover four of swords from this heartache. Because they are showing me that you are feeling really tapped out, really stressed out about what's going on with this person. And they don't want you to make any decisions right now with that lover's card. They want you to, you know, pull back your energy and clear your head and allow downloads to come in. And then once you feel rested and your mind is at ease, that's when you make a decision on whether to let this person go or to let the connection um, have a chance again. Because your advice is the five of wands. I feel like this is the energy of you having an internal fight with your own self and you needing to take, take, take it easy on yourself so that way you have the strength to make a decision. Why the five of wands? Ace of cups, king of cups, and the tower. They may be saying that you have new love heading towards you and to um, fight for your own well-being, fight for your own happiness and not get to the situation anymore if this is something that keeps on starting and stopping, but definitely resolve something with this person where there's some sort of closure for you. Now, you don't need the other person for closure, but I feel like for a lot of you, I feel like it would help if you got a chance to express your, your peace. Now this, this is entirely up to you. You don't have to leave this person at all, but they're definitely wanting you to choose you and choose your own happiness at this time. All right, so if you're in any recent no contact with anybody right now, Taurus, I'm gonna find out how they feel about you for this week. Now you could be connecting with a Gemini. I have strong Cancerian energy in this reading. I have Gemini, Cancer, I have Leo, um, Scorpio is here, Taurus is here, Aquarius is here, but it could be any zodiac sign, okay? Um, oh, and Sagittarius. Please rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, Taurus, you'll find the link to my website in the description box below this video. If this reading did not resonate, do check out your July monthly. It's in my playlist. And also check out my most recent All Signs reading and just click on the Taurus timestamp. But I'll check back in on you next week. Time has brought me clarity I'm about us. I made the wrong choices. Yeah, look at that. Something is going to um, help someone regain clarity on a decision. My heart keeps coming back to you even though I know you've lost faith in me. I have to be in contact with you again. I miss you too much. You were my best friend and I cherished our friendship above all others. All right, that's for you, Taurus. I love you guys to pieces. Until next time, later, Gators.